Hey everyone. All right, today's video is going to be about unit rate, your objective. I will be able to identify quantity and unit to solve for unit rate. So before we talk about rate, let's talk about what a ratio is. And a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. So since there are two different quantities, a ratio is comparing uh, two numbers that have different labels. So we'll get to that in a moment on the next page. But first, whenever we write a ratio, we wanna simplify it just like we would with a fraction. So if we had six to two, that would simplify to three to one. And we can write ratios in three different ways. So we could use a colon, we could write the word two, or we could make it look like a fraction. So let's actually practice writing some ratios. So in the fruit basket on the table, there are seven apples and 12 oranges. Write the following ratios. So letter A, it wants to know apples to oranges. So I look at what comes first. There are seven apples, there are 12 oranges, and I write it in the same order. So that would be seven to 12. I could write it with a colon, or I could put seven over 12. Whenever you make your ratio look like a fraction, the number that you use first will go on top. And just like I said on the previous page, a ratio compares two different types of things. So here we are comparing apples to oranges. Letter B, we wanna compare oranges to apples. There are 12 oranges to seven apples. And I'm just gonna write that in all three ways. Now, since 12 is on the left, 12 goes on top when we make it look like a fraction. And finally, we have apples to pieces of fruit. Well, there are seven apples, and pieces of fruit would mean the apples and oranges combined. So that would be 19. So that would be seven to 19. All right, so let's talk about what a rate is. So whenever a ratio compares two different types of quantities, we call that a rate. So some examples of rate would be miles per gallon, um, a speed limit, miles per hour, that is a rate, and pages per hour, that would be a rate. The amount of words that you can type in a certain amount of minutes, that would also be a rate. So a unit rate is talking about one unit of a given quantity. And often we see the word per, and that's kind of cluing us in that it's for one thing. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So whenever we solve for unit rate, we are gonna take the quantity and divide it by the unit. So keep in mind, this means to divide. So let me explain what I mean when I say it's for one unit. So if someone told us that they ran 100 meters in 10 minutes, this would be the rate. But if we wanted to know how far they, want, they run in one minute, that would be the unit rate. So you would take the quantity of 100 meters, divide it by the unit of 10 minutes, 100 divided by 10 is 10, so our unit rate would be 10 meters per minute. Unit cost is similar. That is a unit rate that gives the cost per unit. And in this type of problem, you would just take the money and divide it by the unit. And this is especially useful whenever we're trying to find the better buy, which you will see in example three momentarily. All right, example one. 800 words in 16 minutes. So this is the rate, but we wanna find the unit rate and see how many words there would be in one minute. Remember, per is like one. So we wanna take the quantity and divide it by the units. So we have a quantity of 800 words and our unit would be 16 minutes. And I'm gonna come over here to work that out. All right, 
16 would go into 8 zero times, but 16 could go into 80 five times. That equals 80. And 16 goes into zero zero times. So our unit rate here would be 50 words per minute. All right, example two. A rice recipe uses six cups of rice for 30 people. How many people can be fed by one cup of rice? So again, we wanna take the quantity divided by the unit. So we have a quantity of 30 people divided by six cups of rice. And we know that 30 divided by six is five. So five people can be fed per cup of rice. Take a moment to pause and actually write that out in a sentence. All right, example three. It costs $4.60 for 20 sticks of bubble gum and $3 for 15 sticks of cinnamon gum. Which is the better buy? So in this problem, we are identifying the unit cost for the type of gum. So we wanna know how much is one stick of bubble gum and how much is one stick of cinnamon gum. And we wanna go with whatever is cheaper. So for the bubble gum, it costs $4.60 for 20 sticks. So we wanna take the money and divide it by the unit. So I'm gonna to put top dog in the house and we are gonna divide this. Decimal goes up, 20 goes into four, zero times, but it goes into 46. It goes into 46 two times. We have six left over, and if we bring down the zero, 20 goes into 60 three times. Now, for the cinnamon gum, we wanna take the money divided by the unit, so it costs $3 for 15 sticks of gum. So let's divide that 15 goes into three zero times, but it goes into 30 twice. And 15 goes into zero, zero times. So that means that bubble gum costs 23 cents per stick. And cinnamon gum costs 20 cents per stick. So if we wanted the better buy, we would want to go with whatever was cheaper. So that means that the cinnamon gum is going to be the better buy. All right, now it's time for you to try. Make sure you show all of your work and bring your notes with you to class and we'll see you next class day.